Okay, so it may happen that at times when a patient with diabetic ketoacidosis DK admits to your ICU or intensive care unit and you found that the creatinine of this patient is somewhere around 4 or 5 or 6, whatever, means at a higher level. But the patients or the family say that he was running a creatinine of somewhere around very low as compared to this value, somewhere around 1.5 to for that matter. So it may happen that this time the creatinine is raised. Uh, because of the dehydration uh, going on with the patient due to decay. But there is there is also a possibility that it is a falsely elevated creatinine. Why it happens so? Because in diabetic ketoacidosis, the ketone bodies in the blood, which are mainly beta-hydroxybutyric acid and estoestate. So these uh, uh, ketone bodies interfere in the lab uh, with the creatinine value. They, they, they are falsely uh, picked up as creatinine, uh, especially if they are using the old methods. So it, at times there is a falsely elevated creatinine in such patient. So you keep an eye on this creatinine, but before discharge, always get a baseline creatinine checked so that at which, which point uh, it is getting settled. It is also important to note that this is also important question in terms of MCQ and questions in the exam that you find a raised creatinine level in DK. So what could be the causes? So this is falsely elevated creatinine due to ketone bodies in DK is one of the cause, so do read more about it.